what was the first civilization to observe Mars, the Red Planet. This is a mystery that we may never solve. However, in 1600, scientists and amateurs alike turned their telescopes towards Mars and began the scientific study of the planet. Our understanding of Mars has gradually increased over time. As we approach the second half of the 20th century, we see the emergence of groups studying Mars, with NASA being the most successful. Although NASA's primary objective was to land men on the moon, their second priority was the scientific exploration of Mars using unmanned spacecraft. It's fascinating to consider how far NASA has come in this endeavor. What discoveries have they made about the red planet? Mars, the fourth planet from the sun, displays a unique rust-colored appearance and boasts two extraordinary moons. Despite being a frigid and arid world within our solar system, the red planet is anything but monotonous. However, in recent times, there has been a surge of activity on the planet that has piqued the curiosity of astronomers. This newfound discovery has led to a new wave of interest in the planet and scientists are eager to unravel the mysteries that lie within. It all started when a team of astronomers decided to delve deeper into the Martian equatorial region. They studied thousands of images that were taken over 14 years, between 2006 and 2020, by the NASA Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. This was no easy task, as the images were taken at an altitude of 300 kilometers above the Martian surface, using a high-rise camera. However, the effort was worth it, as the images revealed a wealth of information about the planet. Thanks to the high-resolution images, scientists were able to identify individual objects that were as small as one meter in size. This was a significant breakthrough as it allowed them to study the planet in much greater detail than ever before. What they found was truly remarkable. The study revealed a large number of landslides and debris flows on the slopes of the Martian volcanoes. This was a clear indication of geological activity on the planet, and it sparked even more interest among scientists. But that was not all. The team of astronomers also discovered something else that was truly unique. They found over 4,500 traces of rocks that had left characteristic patterns in the shape of a Christmas tree, which is usually seen after a strong earthquake. This was an unexpected discovery, as it was the first time that such a phenomenon had been observed on another planet. The longest of these traces is more than 2.4 kilometers long, and in total, these traces span around 900 kilometers. Upon closer inspection, it was found that about a third of these traces were not present on images before 2006, indicating that they formed later. This is a groundbreaking discovery, as it gives us insight into the geological activity of the planet. Only very powerful underground tremors are capable of moving these huge boulders. However, until recently, such tremors were not found on Mars. This poses the question of why this has happened, and the answer lies in the recent samples taken from one of the craters on Mars. It's been an intriguing journey of exploration since 2018, as the inside spacecraft has been dedicatedly monitoring seismic activities on Mars using a specialized experiment aimed at understanding the planet's interior structure. The experiment has been recording these activities with precision and accuracy, and the findings are indeed fascinating. It is worth noting that the seismic activities of 1,300 tremors recorded so far on Mars are quite low, especially when compared to what we observe on Earth. Although we have seismometers on Earth that record between 500,000 and 1 million earthquakes annually, Mars seems to experience relatively fewer tremors. The vibrations that have been detected on Mars are typically very weak and have never surpassed the three-point mark. However, the planet has experienced some noteworthy seismic events that are worth mentioning. In August 2021, the seismic experiment recorded the strongest tremor on Mars, which had a magnitude of 4.2. This was followed by another significant event that took place in May 2022 which registered a magnitude 5 Mars quake. Although these magnitudes might seem small when compared to earthquakes on Earth, they were quite significant for Mars. A five-point tremor on Earth would have been strong enough to knock out windows in houses and cause slight damage to infrastructure. It's important to note that earthquakes on Earth are often more powerful due to the displacement of tectonic plates and volcanic eruptions. On the other hand, Mars is not as active as Earth in terms of seismic activity, but the occurrence of five-point tremors indicates that tectonic processes are still ongoing deep within the planet's depths. These are movements and magma bursts that continue to shape the planet's landscape, causing the bending of a single lithospheric plate on Mars, 
which in turn leads to Mars quakes. These findings provide invaluable insight into the inner workings of Mars and the broader universe. As we continue to explore Mars and its geological activity, we may be moving closer to unraveling the mystery of its habitability. We have long known that Mars is an incredibly harsh and inhospitable planet with extremely low temperatures, intense radiation, and no visible signs of life on its surface. Indeed, it is unlikely that larger organisms, such as mammals, could survive in such conditions, and we have yet to observe any signs of them through our telescopes. However, this does not rule out the possibility of life on Mars entirely. Microorganisms on Earth have demonstrated a remarkable ability to adapt and survive in even the harshest of environments, including extreme temperatures and radiation exposure. It's therefore possible that microbial life could exist on Mars, particularly in the warmer and less radiation-exposed depths of the planet. Moreover, the recent discovery of subsurface lakes on Mars is a particularly exciting development as it suggests the presence of liquid water, a crucial ingredient for life as we know it. While the exact nature and composition of these subsurface lakes remain unclear, their presence alone raises tantalizing questions about the potential for habitable environments beneath the planet's surface. In the year 2018, the radar instruments aboard the Mars Express spacecraft, while orbiting the planet, stumbled upon something extraordinary. A massive subterranean lake was detected on the southern pole of the planet, accompanied by three smaller bodies of water nearby. The lakes collectively spread across a vast area of over 75,000 square kilometers, residing in an ice-covered plain. As if this discovery was not impressive enough, new findings from the year 2022 have brought to light the existence of something truly spectacular. Instruments aboard the ExoMars orbiter have detected immense reserves of frozen or liquid water. These canyons, situated along the equator of the planet, hold water that spans across an area equal in size to the entire Netherlands. The canyon is located close to its surface, within the top three feet of soil. Similar subglacial lakes on Earth, specifically in Antarctica, have been found to contain a range of microorganisms, fish, and other organisms. This finding has led scientists to speculate that Mars may also have life in its underground lakes. However, the retention of a small amount of heat beneath the Martian surface may not be sufficient to melt the ice, and thus the lakes may be frozen due to a high concentration of salt. If the salt concentration is 20 times greater than that of Earth's oceans, even microorganisms may not be able to survive. Therefore, researchers are working to determine the composition of the water in underground lakes to understand the potential for life on Mars. Another amazing discovery emerged in September 2022, as the Perseverance rover made an astonishing discovery on Mars. Near ancient water sources, it uncovered organic molecules, a finding that has been made by previous rovers but is particularly significant in this instance. This is because the organic matter was found in a location where an ancient river and lake once converged, making it a highly favorable spot for life. The site in question is situated in the Jezero Crater, a colossal 45-kilometer-wide basin. The delta, which dates back approximately 3.5 billion years, has been gradually accumulating sand, dirt, and salts over time. Perseverance has managed to extract the largest amount of Martian organic molecules from this mixture to date. It's worth noting that on Earth, sedimentary rocks such as those found in this delta often contain fossils of ancient organisms. The Sherlock instrument on the Mars rover Perseverance, which has been specifically designed to identify organic and chemical substances, found something amazing. Upon scaling molecules from the Jezero crater, the instrument detected hydrogen atoms linked to carbon atoms, a crucial component for life and a possible indicator of biological activity. Moreover, the Sherlock instrument detected that the organic molecules found in the sediment of the Jezero crater are intricately intertwined with sulfates. On Earth, sulfate deposits are known to preserve organic matter and often contain signs of life. However, it's important to keep in mind that the molecules in the Martian crater may have formed through natural processes. To determine the exact origin of these molecules, scientists will need to bring samples back to Earth. NASA has plans for future missions that will make this possible. But that's not all. Exciting developments continue to emerge in the search for life on Mars. Recently, the Curiosity rover made a discovery that has sparked intense interest among scientists. 
it detected an unusually high level of methane on the planet, measuring 21 parts per billion by volume. This is significant because methane is typically emitted by living organisms on Earth, and higher concentrations of it are found in our planet's atmosphere. As a result, researchers are now planning to investigate whether the gas on Mars is also linked to the activity of its potential inhabitants. However, there are other possibilities to consider. If methane had formed a long time ago, it would have already broken down into its component elements. Another explanation could be that gas is a product of the interaction between rock and water. Beyond methane, scientists are also interested in carbon dioxide, a gas that is considered harmful on Earth but may soon become invaluable on the red planet. To this end, an experimental device called MOXIE was brought to Mars on board the Perseverance rover. The device, which is roughly the size of a toaster, was printed on a 3D printer using a nickel-based heat-resistant alloy. It also features a lightweight air gel for heat retention and a thin external gold coating that reflects infrared radiation, enabling it to withstand the extreme temperature of 800 degrees Celsius, at which gas transformation occurs. The potential applications for this technology are vast, and it may pave the way for future human exploration of Mars. But what do you think of these advancements in the discovery of life on Mars? Are we getting closer to a breakthrough? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and kindly like the video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to our channel for more discoveries in our world. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.